doubtful that this would actually um, do more harm than good environmentally. If, for example, um, the biomass coal doesn't actually reduce CO2 emissions compared to coal, um, is this sort of a band-aid in a way <laughs> then? Like, are we in a way fooling ourselves by thinking we're actually doing something good by investing in alternative energy when actually it's, it may be a little bit cleaner, so that would be okay, but it's not actually reducing CO2 if it's most cost efficient for a powerful power company to produce just as CO2 emitting material. You know what I mean? Uh, that's, a very, very good, that, that's a very, very good question. And, uh, so you can really make a very, very quick analysis where where would you not reduce CO2, right? Because if you grow at the same time that you burn, right? Same rate. So this is exactly zero, right? So there's no CO2. But that's not exactly true. You grow and the same the same growth rate, like one tree you grow per year, you burn it. So then there is no problem with CO2. Globally. However, you have to transport the material, right? You have to turn some engines, some motors, some power you need. This is where it comes. So it's not 100%, but it's close to 100%. I don't remember the numbers, Barry, maybe you do remember. What, would, uh, what, what is the CO2 consumption by using uh, all these? Uh, but, but, but it is still very significant. So that's one part. The other part is really the mercury and sulfur. It is significant reduction. And these are very highly costly operations. And they will be there. It's the 3P, NOx, SOx, mercury. What do you mean the like control technology? Yes, yeah. absolutely. In the back? one, the bigger one for me, would be um, how could I be assured that we wouldn't start eating up our wildlife habitats, uh, forests and other places in order to harvest this energy and burn it up? Well, I, I don't think that I'm the person to answer this question. I rely upon others, colleagues from the forestry and the USDA and others, and they claim that uh, the United States can support uh, not less than 25% of the biomass replacement by coal in the next 25 years. So you, you, you probably heard of the 1 billion uh, ton uh, dry biomass in, in the United States. So uh, although I'm not the person to answer this, but I, I understand fully that this is a major concern. And there are other concerns like, is it in lieu of food? I mean, we use the same water, the same soil for food, because energy is one headache. Water is as big a headache, if you think about it, globally. Maybe not in Michigan, but water is a major issue. So are we competing with food, water, soil? I'm not the person to answer that, but I know that this, is, this issue is addressed very comprehensively. I think you have to rely on uh, regulators here. There's been assessments for the whole country as well as Michigan on the biomass resource, and certain areas would be excluded. Uh, so like anything, there would need to be permits and uh, approval processes that these are appropriate areas to, to use. But the assessments uh, do take that into account, uh, restricting areas for, for uh, sensitive uh, areas, uh, off limits for environmental reasons and so on.